<clears throat> I'm gonna draw you a vulva. You may have called this a vagina in the past. Now you know that it is actually a vulva and perhaps think of it more like the vagina's neighborhood. Here's the mons veneris or pubis. This is the buttocks and the asterisk represents an anus. The clitoris is closest to the top of the vulva. If this person were lying back down, legs spread, it would be at the top. It is a highly sensitive organ, densely packed with nerve endings with two roots running on either side of the vulva. The head of the clitoris, called the glands, is especially loaded, so I'm gonna make it nice and bold. It's super sensitive! Skin, just like that on the intact penis, covers most of its shaft. It's designed to slide fluidly across the clitoris to stimulate arousal without harming the delicate glands. Then, labia minora extend from this hood downward. These are also known as the inner lips. They vary in colors, shapes, sizes, and symmetry. These ones are gonna be wavy lips with magenta purple lining. A second layer of lips and protection for the vulva are closer and more similar in texture and color to the inner thighs. These are called the labia majora. The center of the vulva is called the vestibule. I learned about this area from a doctor in China whose English translation was porch. Aww. The meatus or urethra opening is about here, a little higher or lower depending on the body. The vaginal introitus is the opening to the vagina just below that and definitely changes in appearance as you develop. This one has folds and turns and character. Even further down is the perineum. This is the space between the genitals and the anus. You may have heard it called the taint or the gooch. Have you heard of Aphrodite, the goddess of love, beauty, and sexuality? Her Roman equivalent is Venus. This mound of bumper padding is named after her, Mons Veneris, like Mountain of Venus. During puberty, hair begins to grow here on the outer lips, the perineum, and the anus. Sometimes it's shaved or waxed or groomed to each their own hairstyle. All right, I wanna show you a little bit about the vulva using my body. This shirt will come up over my head, representing a clitoris. I will take a second one and cover me up this way. This shirt, different sized labia. Inner labia, labia minora. Then we'll use the big puffy as a labia majora or the outer lips. And notice these can stick out further or be small inside and completely closed. What I want for us to understand is the clitoris here and how this part actually trumps it in terms of importance because here my head is very, very sensitive. Something equivalent to my head being touched directly or the clitoris being touched directly would be a leg coming in if it were a finger fingering the clitoris. And that's gonna be really painful. I don't wanna get whacked in the face. So I'm telling all of you out there about something very important called the clitoral hood or prepuce. And the way that this works is that I can stimulate the clitoris without touching it directly. Mmm, feels so good. So you could take, instead of one leg kicking my face, you take two, you put them on either side of the, the clitoris here on the hood, and you move them back and forth like this and it will feel much better for the body. Between the clitoris and the prepuce, there is a fluid called sebum, which is released by the body, and that can turn into smegma if it is left too long. Smegma is kind of like this cheesy buildup between the two. I'm gonna use toilet paper as an example here. If it's left there, it may adhese the prepuce to the glands. And this adhesion called phimosis can be very painful, it causes the area to feel inflamed, so either super arousing, want to have sex all the time, or really irritable and get away from me. This is not positive. And this adhesion can happen anywhere from 100% to 75, 50, 25, but when it does, the prepuce doesn't fluidly move over the clitoris, and the buildup can cause sex and masturbation, even washing yourself to be really painful. So make sure to use the prepuce to touch the clitoris and to clean out the smegma.